Hi everybody, uh, my name is Gerald Capillo and this is going to be a quick demonstration of uh, how the Kumi Recipes app would go in a live scenario. Uh, you might notice that the images for all of the screenshots in the presentation were taken in Android Studio um, directly from an Android via the uh, virtual device emulator. Um, they will work on either, but for the sake of this presentation, and uh, just so that you can see a general idea of what the app will look like on either device, um, this is running on the browser emulator using the local development server on my PC. So this is the home screen. This is what you'll be greeted to most of the time, and where you'll be navigating throughout the app. Um, you do have a little nice message up here that just reminds you about what this app is about. And uh, over here is the primary function, and they're one of the probably the most important thing about this app, where everything we'll use from, is uh, the location getter. So this will get your coordinates, uh, latitude, longitude, and degrees, and uh, basically manipulate the app and what you can see based on your coordinates and your location. Uh, this does change dynamically. So if I were to like move my laptop, which is what uh, this emulator is running on, um, the location will change. So I slightly move my laptop and the latitude changed slightly. Uh, once we have our location, um, at least with our current state, we can either sign in or view local recipes. And uh, this will return recipes that are close to our location. Um, this uh, works properly, we know, because if we do check on the database, there are four fields. Um, but our current location is uh, 33, negative 81. And uh, it only returns these two fields that are around um, that location. Uh, the other two aren't close enough to be presented to us on the page, so we just don't return them at all. So. Uh, we can view the recipes and it's pretty standard information and you know the picture, some information about the recipe um, as well as the instructions and uh, how to prepare the food just like you would expect. Um, these are all local so if you wanted to actually upload our own recipe to the uh, app to the community recipes app we just have to sign in and create an account. Uh, the sign up is pretty standard it's just uh, an email and a password, and then you can select the type. Um, it's actually built off of what we were working on with the game store or the Gamecock store. But I've already made an account for this uh, demonstration, so we'll just go ahead and log into that one. Okay, so now that we're logged in, uh, you'll notice that we have uh, two additional features now. We can, in addition to view recipes, we can also now add our own recipe and sign out, which uh, we'll just do later at the end. With our local recipes, we can go ahead and add now. And the add product is uh, pretty much what you would expect to see in any typical uh, um, app that allows you to push new objects into the system. We'll be making this one uh, just a burger, why not? Um, the photo URL is similar to the photo URL function that we implemented in our previous apps in the description. And then the instructions parameter field is uh, actually just a text area, so we can actually include as many lines as we want. Um, just for this demonstration, we'll keep it there. So now it's pushed in. And because we created it, it's, we're obviously going to see it because it's near us. I um, believe it's here. And then again, it is pushed in our latitude and longitude. So that's uh, basically the community app. We can go ahead and sign out and uh, we lose our feature to add a new product in, but um, everything works as intended. Hopefully this app um, can be seen in uh, its usefulness in connecting people closer to their area through food. Thank you.